Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway. I wrote the book On This Day in Tudor History, which inspired these daily videos that I'm doing every day of the year, bringing you Tudor events such as marriages, deaths, coronations, baptisms, executions, you name it and I've got it for you. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Edward VI. But on this day in Tudor history, the 9th of June 1549, at Whit Sun services, so at the Pentecost services around England, the Book of Common Prayer was used for the very first time. Now, this was in the second year of King Edward VI reign. He'd become king on the death of King Henry VIII in January 1547. And the Book of Common Prayer, or to give it its full title, The Book of the Common Prayer and Administration of the Sacraments and Other Rites and Ceremonies of the Church, was the official liturgy of Edward VI Protestant Church. And the book, um, it was edited by Thomas Cramner, Archbishop of Canterbury, and in fact composed mainly by him. He was the person in charge of putting it together and writing uh, most of it. Now, it was written in English, uh, so this was a groundbreaking thing. It replaced the traditional Latin Mass that had been used by the Roman Catholic Church. So this was a big step in the Reformation. Not only have we got an English Bible, but we'd also got English services. Now, this Book of Common Prayer was revised in 1552, so this, uh, you know, it was a work in progress. Now, Beth von Stats, author of Thomas Cranmer in a Nutshell, which is an excellent book, a, a really good overview of uh, this amazing, fascinating Tudor character, calls the book a literary masterpiece. And she writes of how Cranmer's words became profoundly embedded into the very cultural soul of the British people, the lyrical vernacular deeply imprinted into every English-speaking person worldwide. So it had an impact on our language. Things that are in that book are part of our everyday language and, and we know them from you know, going to church and using the book as well. Cramner's book was based on other works, earlier works, such as uh, Salisbury's Latin use of sarum, um, or sarum is it? I can't remember how you pronounce it. Uh, it was also based on the Liturgy of the Reformed Church of Cologne. Uh, the works of Martin Luther were used, and the English Great Bible was used as well. So he was drawing on all of these different works in making the Book of Common Prayer. But he was writing his book in English for the use of the English people, the congregation, the laity. This was a book that the laity could use, those people that went to church, rather than it just being limited to the clergy. So big steps here. Now, the Book of Common Prayer comprised a table and calendar for psalms and lessons, the order for matins and even song throughout the year, uh, collects epistles and gospels to be used at the celebration of the Lord's Supper and Holy Communion throughout the year with proper psalms and lessons for diverse feasts and days, uh, Holy Communion, the litany and suffrages, services for baptism, confirmation, matrimony, uh, visitation of the sick, burial, purification of women, churching women after uh, following um, childbirth, a declaration of scripture with prayers for the first day of Lent, the first day of Lent being Ash Wednesday, and also explanatory notes on how the book was to be used. The book used today in Anglican church services around the world descends from Archbishop Cramner's uh, book, which you know first came out in 1549, which for me is a wonderful thing to know that if I go to an Anglican church service and I'm using the Book of Common Prayer, I'm using something that Cramner would recognise. It may have moved on, it may have been revised, but it is something that he'd recognise, and I think that is just a wonderful thing. Now, you can read a copy of the original 1549 Book of Common Prayer on archive.org, and you can also read the Book of Common Prayer, its making and revisions, 1549 to 1661, which is very interesting, 
on the same site and I'll give you a link to uh, read those because they it, it does even if you're not at all religious uh, they do make fascinating reading for the language that's in them too so I'll give you links to those so that's what happened on this day in Tudor history on this day back in 1549 in the reign of King Edward VI we have the book of common prayer being used in church services on the day of Pentecost for the very first time. Such a big step in the English Reformation. Anyway, I do hope you're enjoying my videos. Please do consider subscribing to the channel by clicking, I think there's a button around about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as new, uh, new videos go live, but rest assured that I am here for a very regular basis. I'm here every day bringing you Tudor events. Uh, take care and have a great day. Bye bye.